Hey everyone, it's Pastor Heather with our story time for this week. And this week we are reading the book Wild About You by Judy Sierra. Here we go. Who's new at the zoo? Brand new babies, that's who. Some popped from their mamas. Some hatched out of eggs. Some walked right away on their long, wobbly legs. Some babies are fluffy. Some babies are hairless. Some babies are shy. Oops, some are quite careless. They wander away and get lost in the zoo and their mamas and papas can't find them. Can you? This just isn't fair, said the tree kangaroo. All my neighbors have babies and I want one too. So do we, moaned the pandas. We're black, white, and blue. Blah, babies are awful, the crocodiles told them. They bite and they scratch and they howl when you hold them. They won't do a thing that you want them to do. And on top of all that, they make mountains of poo. May we have your babies? The pandas asked sweetly. No, no, cried their parents. We love them completely. Grr, grumbled the pandas. It's so hard to wait. Then a big orange van rumbled through the zoo gate and the sign on the van made their eyes open wide. Do you think there's a cub or a joey inside? They rushed to the van and they peeked in the door. On the floor lay a little brown box, nothing more. This egg is endangered, the zoo vet explained. Who would like to adopt it? I can't, croaked the crane. It's too small, hissed the ostrich. It's too big, squawked the op. I haven't got space in my nest, screeched the hawk. The tree kangaroo scrambled forward to snatch it. She said, I have room in my pouch. I will hatch it. No matter what kind of a bird it might be, it can live in my tree and sing sweetly to me. She kept the egg cozy for week after week till she heard the tap tap of her new baby's beak. I've hatched out a penguin, she said. Oh my word, I wasn't expecting this sort of bird. Penguins don't fly. Penguins never sing sweetly, but that doesn't matter. I love you completely. Yes, you are the answer to all of my wishes though I may need some help because penguins eat fishes. So the puffins delivered fresh fish every day. The flamingos invited her over to play. And one happy day, she hopped her first hop, a super sensational kangaroo bop. Then she shouted, hey mom, I want that back in my pouchy. The pandas, of course, were still gloom and grouchy. They rolled on the ground, groaning, bah and boo-hoo. Then beneath the bamboo, they heard someone say, moo. And a kitten jumped onto Miss Panda's wide lap, picked a comfortable spot and curled up for a nap. What a curious cub, Mr. Panda declared. You're a, a kind of, a sort of a cat of a bear? You're roly, you're poly, you're quite pandalicious. Yes, you are the answer to all our wildest wishes. The tiger stopped by with fresh milk every day. The meerkats invited him over to play. They snoozed in the shade of a kangaroo's tree and were all as happy as happy could be. If you're looking for babies much newer than new, here's a cool panda cat. Here's a sweet kangaroo. Every kid needs a family, we know that it's true. And to bring up a baby, it takes a whole zoo. The end. I 
hope you enjoyed our story today, and I hope that you will listen to Pastor Teresa on Sunday as she references this book in her sermon. Goodbye.